Okay, in this letter we're going to create a banner using Picasa. And you should have Picasa installed on your computer and you should be familiar with it as we used it in Lesson 4B when we um, optimized images for the web. Um, and so here's, here's the, this is the template banner that came with my WordPress template. And obviously this banner doesn't fit with what I'm trying to accomplish in my site. So I'm going to create a banner that I want to customize. And the first thing I need to know is, well, what's the size of this banner that I need to work with? You may be able to go into the back end <clears throat> of your dashboard and see if you can find uh, under themes. And in themes, you can go to header, and it may tell you, yes, here it is. So you can upload a custom header, right here it says, and it's 940 by 198. So that's the size that I need to create for this banner to fit. You should be able to find that on your own. Uh, another way to do that is if you right click on the image and save your image. And I'm going to go to banner, uh, template, so I know it's the template banner. And I'm going to save it in my pictures. Um, and I'm going to work. I'm not going to check, and I'm going to save it there because I can actually pull that up. Now I'm going to go back to Picasa, and I'm going to go back to the library, and here it is. So if I open it, here's a uh, a size that I can also work from. Let's see if it's if I go to properties. Here they are. So it's 940 by 198. Now I already know that because I saw it. Um, so I'm going back to the library. Um, actually, I'm going to move that down there since I don't want to use it in my template. So um, here's the folder with my chicken pictures that I'm going to work with. And I'm going to click up here, create a photo collage. And again, we started here earlier and it's the wrong dimension. And to get the right dimension, I'm going to settings and I'm going to add custom aspect ratio. And uh, if I can remember what it was, let's see. I go over here and header. It was one. It was 940 by 198. So 940 by 198. And now I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it my chick my chicken WordPress banner. And I'm going to hit OK. So you can see the it's the correct size. Um, but now I have to adjust my images, and, and that's if I want to use these images, which I do. Um, so I'm going to adjust the images in my site. Um, I, and you, you could actually remove your images if you want. Um, let me move that. I'm going to move that over here. Actually, I like this. Um, I want to be able to see this whole site, so let's do this. Yeah, okay, so that's there. And, and sometimes the pictures come a little askew, so you want to, um, there's probably a better way to move them, but I'm going to move that there a little bigger. And you can move them to the front. Here we go. So again, it, if you have an idea of your design ahead of time, it helps. I'm going to move that there and here. So so let's move this to the front. So if I right click, um, I can bring it to the top, move it down, angle it down a little bit. And this one I don't want as prominent. I'm going to move it over. Okay. All the way to the end. There. There. So I've got it. Um, let's make it fit. And I'm going to go back to settings. And say I want a different background color so I could or I could use a different image let's try the background color so if I take the picker and I hover over other uh, colors in my sites I can actually pull a shade that I want to let's try that something like that that I want to work with well let's try one of these colors here so say you wanted to use that color, and you could do outlines the pictures. But if I, since I had that picture selected, it only outlined that one. So if I click on that and I do it again, all of the pictures have a little 
outline of them. Like an old photograph. So I could go like that, could do that, that kind of thing. Um, make it look like a little photo gallery. And so we'll do that. And then there we go. So let's try that. And so that's, you get the idea of that. So I'm going to now also go back to settings. And here I'm going to um, find my images. Okay, and we'll actually have to save the picture. So I like that as a background. Um, so I'm going to create the collage. And then it saves it as a picture, a JPEG, right here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some text. And you can also do a little more um, adjusting with style by clicking up here. Um, so it emanate. Im there we go. Let's try that. You can blur edges. You can fade. Now I'm going to cancel that. Let's see if there's any other kind of style that we might fit CinemaScope. It sort of looks like old, so I don't like that one. Here, let's try that. And you can, again, adjust the brightness and cancel that. And here we go. This is sort of looks like an old outlining. Um, you can minimize that. Try the radius. And so you play with your style until you find what you really fits your your site. Uh, let's try this. Um, boost a little bit. Now well, let's. And I don't want to apply changes. So I'm going to leave that, and now I'm going to actually go back here. I'm going to add text. And again, I can take the dropper to find a color that I think is going to. Uh, work well with the text and say so I'm going to pick that one and I'm going to take the style the text font and let's just again fonts really important um, and this up in the header it doesn't necessarily have to be the same font in your um, website your headers that sort of thing this could be unique and remember um, the earlier video we watched on fonts, it's okay if you you have a in your head or something unique and different. Um, so, but and it can take a while to find the right one. So I, I don't want to waste time here doing it. So let's just find something, and I'm gonna make it larger because it's in the header. Let's try it. So I'm gonna go to go. Well, not quite large enough and I'm not sure I like the style so I can actually change the style I can make it larger this way um, I'm actually going to make it larger through this right here even larger 48 and I don't think the color works so now it's it's a little easier that it's in there to to pull a color again from your site, and there we go. So let's try that. Okay, I don't want to spend too much time on design because it can take hours. So I'm going to apply that, and here's my banner. And now what you want to do is you need to export it. So I'm going to um, export it. I'm going to now again here, I'm going to move the pixels. Uh, let's see if I can put in 940. 940. And I'm not going to have a watermark this time. And I'm going to hit export. And I have a few here already. And so I'm going to make sure it goes into this folder. And there we go. So export, um, let's try it here, 
chicken pictures. Okay, export and export. And here we go, right there. There's our picture. So let's see how that works in our website. And if I were really to do this, I wouldn't use that picture. I'd play around with the colors a little more. So I'm going to, again, go back to my WordPress dashboard, appearances, and header, and I'm going to upload it. And I'm going to go to my folder and export file, and I'm going to open it, and I'm going to upload. I've already uploaded a few others, and it actually saves them here for you, which is kind of nice. So I can actually change to the earlier ones that I've done. And if I'm going to use that one, I'm going to save the changes. And now I'm going to go look at my site. And here, I'm just going to refresh. And there you go. So play around, make your own header, um, think about your style, and um, finish the lesson. Let me know how it goes. Good luck.